All right, guys, welcome back. Today's video, wing ribs. Work out how to bend up the wing ribs. Got those complete. Fuselage is back, engine's in the corner. Hope you enjoy this one. All right, craft time. Got the rib template out. The first thing to do is we'll make a copy out of brown paper, and then I'll probably make one out of out of alloy, I guess. See how we go. All right, just cutting out the rib, the rib bend template on the bandsaw. As you can see, it's a bit rickety at the moment, but keep it proud, and we can sand it round. Hello, old friend. Time to get the. Zenith wing work stand back out. Now quick time flies. New set of wings. So we'll put the camel wings, put them in the rack. Once we get the cobwebs off. Okay, rib making day. Made up a template. Just brown paper, one of the plywood with a redneck lamination of sellotape over the top. With our ribs, started making the ribs. Got a batch of 10, and about 15 there. Now this guy worked. Put the half inch tube in there. Ended up putting an L angle on here for um, just to stop crushing the 2 one The rib gets, uh, this is a good rib, so I won't fold it again. Rib gets folded around. I put a little mark. That's just so we know all the ribs are the same because otherwise you just got a continuous curve. You don't know where to line it up from. Um, mark the rib, fold it all the way around. I hit my stop block, pull it out, put it over here with all the others. And then that gives me, when you line up all the reference, the reference marks, it'll make sense now. Apart from this one, it's got red tape on it. This was number one, so it's got an extra sort of bend in it. Might be a wingtip one, that one. And then you end up with all the ribs. I've got 43, 43 ribs to bend on the top, 26 on the bottom, I think, at last count. And that's where we're at. Beautiful. Put him on the rack. Rack it and stack it. 10, 20. You can see here just how much spring back we're dealing with. So I bend it down to here, to this block, hold it for five seconds. I don't know if that makes any difference, but I do. And there it is way out there. So you got a good I don't know, 24, 30 inches of spring back. So that's the accuracy you're trying to work with, or the variable, I guess you'd call it. But it seems to be working. I'll get this out of here. Back on there. Line up my mark, and we're on the line. On the line's in. Keep punching them out without making too many. You've got to stop before you make too many and start on the bottom. Got a few Zeniths dropping in for a visit. 701, another 701, Viking powered. Just a quick 
bottom rib, bend, bend it around, hold it, reference mark it, count to five, release. Onto our, onto our master, line up the line, beautiful, put it on the pole, repeat. So just making some more jigs, uh, I made my board up, my drilling board, got my master ribs if you like, marked in green. Um, now I need to, with my two inch hole saw, I need to cope, so you cope the front of those, this will represent the spar, and cope those. Now I had a play around yesterday, had a play around yesterday on the drill there, probably making you seasick moving the camera around. Um, what I found is, it's good doing lots of practice, you need a home, where are we? You need a good home for the hole saw to continually go into. If the teeth of the hole saw touch the job before the, um, yeah, the drill is housed or centred, it'll just wander and um, chew up the job. So if you're going to do this, bolt everything down, make everything idiot proof basically. That's what I'm doing now uh, with this panel here. So I'm going to cut an inner, inner and outer and that's if you can imagine over here, I'll have an outer plate and an inner plate. You could just do it with blocks, but I'm in no hurry, so I'll just cut these out. So basically the tubes will fit. That shape there is that shape there. Um, and then I'll screw this to my board. I'll then work out where I'm going to cope it and the tubes will sit in the, um, the little half inch valley that I'm going to create. That's the plan, we'll see how we go. So for an all metal aeroplane, there sure is a lot of woodwork. Um, there we go. So my rib sits in there, held in. I'll only do one at a time, top or bottom. So I can swap those over. Clicks in nicely. And I should, yeah, I should be able to Drill those out, and then I think at the end we just cut them off evenly. Worry about the training edge later. Okay, there she is, guys. So, wing rib jig. Got these U Butte clips off Amazon. Hold the job down. When the time comes, I'll probably just drill, you know, an upper and a lower. Drill them separately. See where I'm going with this. I've got my brass. The old KNS brass tube for the hole saw goes in there. The hole saw's got a nice home, can't go anywhere. Aluminium, aluminum, can't go anywhere. Um, and that gives me a nice cope on the ribs. Haven't quite worked out the trailing edge yet, what I'm going to do there, but we'll get to that. So for now, you can see here I've got my kit, my kit's made up, so I've got upper wing, lower wing, there's more upper wing ribs than there is lower, so I've got eight, eight on top of the top wing and five on the bottom of the top wing. Uh, blue I think was sent, the wing centre section, so you can see I've got seven and four, and then on the bottom wing, ten ribs on the top six on the bottom so you miss you miss a couple of couple of ribs on the bottom which is fine got those all bent up good to go awesome guys got my baby back so thanks to Paul Chernikeefe down at Rotec um, we'll get onto this I've got the fuselage got my engine have a look at this Drove down yesterday in the rain, hence all the towels and whatever hanging up drying around the place. 
Tie down straps. Rotec 2800 wrapped up. Just got to send the um, the hook back to Paul. But there's our engine, guys. We'll cover that later in another movie. Right, parts that came with the engine, or I ordered with the engine. Uh, Rotec were good enough to make make up an oil tank, sort of quantity unknown at this stage, 10 litres or so. All the fittings, A and six fittings, really nice job. Um, that's conformal, and sort of go on the side of the side of the fuselage. Oil tank. We've got a ordered a carbon fibre baffle kit to go between the cylinders, just to get all that cold air through the cylinders. Um, what have we got here? I have been through all this. Got a couple of coils on my oil filter and oil um, adapter plate, if you like. Starter motor is in there. Uh, this one here was interesting, scavenge oil pump, it's an option. As I was leaving, Paul just ran out and threw this over the fence to me. Uh, Paul at Rotec, so thanks very much. Um, just an option. You run the pump after shutdown, just to try and get most of the oil back out of the, um, out of the engine sump. I'll learn all this as I go. Um, engine mount kit, basically Jabiru engine mounts, those familiar with the Jabiru. Or well, I think these are actually suspension parts from the automotive industry. But the engine mount um, and bolts, nuts and bolts. Fuel pump, automotive style, voltmeter, all pretty standard stuff, guys. So the gauges, I won't open them all, but voltmeter. Uh, manifold pressure, oil temp, oil pressure, RPM, EGT, fuel pressure, and Cylinder head temp. Now Paul was always, always helpful. Um, I took the firewall down and he made me up a beautiful engine mount um, that'll suit the engine, obviously, with the Jabiru mounts. Um, just fantastic, have a look at that. Nice engine mount, which is drilled for the firewall, which then bolts to the front of the fuselage I've got to dry this guy off today, give it a sand, touch up the primer. Um, that's good to have the fuselage back. Now, I might have mentioned in the previous video, I just wanted to confirm between there and there, these um, are your lower wing attachment locations. So obviously I didn't want to build the lower wing until I knew that exact for my fuselage. So the tube, the wing tube, We'll slide over that with a bolt through there, which sort of hinges, if you like, for dihedral. Um, here's the wing spars behind me, or what I'm calling the tube. And what do we call it? The money to thrust converter. Wrapped up there. Might leave it in the glad wrap for a while. Just pushed my ribs aside. So I've made probably 95% of the ribs. Really happy with how they turned out. You know, there's no science in the um, airfoil, as long as they're the same. And I think I showed you before, I've drilled out the leading edge, which copes the front to fit onto my two inch tubes on the wings. Um, we'll get to this later, but we, I need another board to sort of assemble the ribs. They have a 90 degree uh, gusset, if you like, picks up the spar and the top and bottom ribs and the rear spar sits down here somewhere. Further down the track, I'll cut where the aileron is. So we build the aileron into the wing and then we cut the aileron out, hinge it and go flying. Easy as that. Trailing edge, not sure yet. Needs a bit of, bit of thought put into that. But that's put aside for now. From here, I might assemble the bottom wings which are in kit form under my bench. Um, assemble the bottom wing ladders. I'm going to paint the fuselage. Won't be too long. I'm going to get the tail plane down. Probably early next week. We'll mount the tail plane. This is where I go back to stage one. Get the tail plane, the rudder on, the stays underneath, the rigging wires, 
run some bricky string is what I was talking about guys for my if you remember back if you've watched the whole videos if you haven't go back and watch them if you'd like where the control horn goes on my elevator um, it comes to either the top or bottom must be the bottom by the look of that push rod push rod then the two cables um, so up elevator to the top down elevator or the bottom of the elevator to the bottom hole there and we just run a, a Y cable out both sides and that'll give me the angle to put the control horns in on the tailplane. Alright guys, I was sitting at home just watching Kermit Weeks. If you're not sure who Kermit Weeks is and you're watching me, you probably should jump on YouTube and watch Kermit Weeks. Um, got some magnificent aeroplanes. He, he went and bought this aeroplane and he signed his name. So for instance, you know, signed his name. Then he drew a which really sort of stuck in my mind. I was wondering what he's doing, and he sort of did a, a dotted line, and then a nice star, and that's how he signed off his book. What he said was, the um, this first bit, the asterisk, if you like, that's in here, that's your passion, that's your spirit, and then the star at the end, Start at the end is your dream. So for me, the passion, I've got a lot of passion, you just got to join the dots in life to get to your dream. And there's the dream, guys. Thanks for watching.